Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minish revealing more details on his previously announced pledge to provide land to young professionals at a third of what the property is worth. He gave notice in Parliament last night that he will move a resolution at the next sitting of the House to allow for the development of a residential community in western New Providence. This portion is next to Balmoral. As you all know, Balmoral in the west on Sanford Drive, the office of the Prime Minister is on the opposite, opposite side of such land, land that has been preserved, 10 acres of land preserved for the official residence of the Prime Minister is on its eastern boundary. On the northern boundary, is Sanford Drive, of which you will find the official residence of the American ambassador and on the western boundary is San Pedro, is Prospect Ridge and on the southern boundary, Mr. Speaker, is John F. Kennedy Drive. Minnis said a number of banks have said that once they determine the land is worth $150,000 or more, the equity is such a vast amount that individuals will not have to come up with any down payment to construct their homes. According to the Prime Minister, the purchase of land in the community will be limited to people between the ages of 18 and 45. They would be able to purchase the land multifamily. The intention of this first development would be 150 lots. 40% multifamily, 60% single family. The multifamily lots will be purchased at $50,000 and the single family lot will be purchased at $40,000. He said government will provide designs for 10 different building models and people will be able to purchase those designs for $1,000 without having to pay architectural fees. He added the government will waive customs duty on all building materials and appliances for homes within the community. He said they will not be required to pay stamp tax either and will be exempted from paying real property tax for two years. We will establish a committee again and the committee will set the rules and the policies as to the selection of individuals so that there will be fair play for each and every person. He also noted that the construction of homes will need to be completed within the first two years of purchase and that flipping of property will not be allowed. Reporting for Guardian News Network, I'm Jasmine Brown.